<laughs> okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. It was right in front of my face the whole time, but it just, I thought it was more toward the back for some reason. But it's right here. <laughs> if you look at the front, the engine, it's right where I'm pointing, right there. Couldn't be any closer in front of my face, so to all you who are groaning, okay, I get it. Oh yeah, it unscrews. Yeah, it screws in. I, I forgot that the reason is is that if you're gonna do any deep water fording that you uh oh, hold on. So it doesn't get uh water and stuff in there. All right, man, it's full. Right? Oh hold on. I wonder if you can see my finger. All right. <laughs> Right there. It's where my finger's pointing right there. And that's above full, which is what it says to be. It says it should be about an inch or so above being full. And it is. You know what? Like I said, uh, as I was going through the paperwork for this thing, um, it, it was pretty obvious that the guy who owned it maintained it i mean he had paperwork in the glove box that i went through and um everything and it looked like uh he had been on it and it had been serviceable up to 2005 and it looks like he was taking care of it he even uh, leased it out to uh california fire and uh did that for three years so you know if he was going to do that it, it would have to have a full maintenance and service done before they would accept it so um you know in one respect i'm not surprised that it's in all the fluids are good and everything because that's just what I'm starting to get from the idea of all the paperwork. Okay, well, it looks like we're on to the next big step, which is to see if the thing fires up. We're going to find out. All right, I'm going to turn this off while I get down, and then I'll set it up again. Okay, well, this is the big reveal, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and, and hop in there. I'm going to squirt it with some uh, starter fluid because it hasn't been started so long. And I'm assuming that... that the diesel is still going to make it go, but we're going to find out. So here we go. All right. Baby start. Cross your fingers. That's freaking unbelievable. Did you see how fast that started up? I was expecting like way longer to try to like start. And listen, it's idling really well. 
three years it's been sitting here at least. I can't believe it. I think this is the biggest Christmas present I've ever gotten. Well, it's almost Christmas, about 10 days or so, but yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm serious. And uh, the air came up too. Um, you know, because it uses a combination of air and hydraulics. And uh, the air pressure came up, the buzzer went off holding I think about 80 pounds right now I think it's something like between 65 and 90 or something it's supposed to run I'll have to look again but uh, unbelievable freaking unbelievable I'm just out of my mind well there it is now the next big question is, does it drive? So uh, I'll have to go ahead and check that. That the, the, the air pressure up, that means the brakes should be operating. So I'll I'll take it out here on the flat section, like right over here on the driveway. Maybe just roll it back and forth, see how the brakes do. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Wow, listen to it run. It's been three years. Three year old gas. Of course, it's multi-fuel, it's meant to run on anything, but I mean, it sounds like it just was running yesterday. Oh my God. Santa, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna go move that truck so that I can get in there and I'll bring the camera in and I'll see how it drives. So, there it is.